Hello everyone and welcome back to another Blender Made Easy video. A couple months ago I created a video talking about how big the Blender viewport is. Spoiler warning, it's pretty big. That video was really fun to make and you should definitely check it out if you haven't. It also got me thinking how small an object can be in Blender. So in this video we are going to find out. How small can a cube be in Blender? The problem with this question is that Blender can't really measure past a certain point. If you go small enough the dimensions will just say zero. When I first started doing research on this and trying to figure out how small I can get a cube, I tried a method that didn't really work too well. I took the default cube and of course I got rid of it and added a new cube. From there I started to scale it down. When you get small enough, your view will actually clip into the edges. So to fix that, you can open up the properties panel and underneath view, set the start of the clipping as low as possible which is this number. I kept scaling down and zooming in with the period key on my number pad, and at one point, the X and the Y axis became a little weird. There were these giant gray lines for the axes. The dimensions now say 0 and the scale also says 0. I noticed if I scaled a cube down far enough, I wouldn't be able to scale it back up. So what I did was I would scale the cube down and try scaling it back up. If it came back, I knew I could go smaller. If it didn't come back, I knew I went too far. Then all I had to do was try to close the distance from it coming back and when it breaks. This is why this method didn't work, it's just a bunch of guesswork. After a while I closed that distance. I then applied the scale to the cube so it went back to 1. I set the dimensions back to the original size of 2x2x2 and you will also notice the cube is now black which is kind of strange. Now we have the scale number and the dimensions, so all we have to do is divide 2 by the number that we figured out for the scale, which is this number. That gives us this. To give you some context, the size of an atom is about 0.5 nanometers. A nanometer is 5 times 10 to the negative 10 meters. The length of our cube is 7 exponents smaller than the single size of an atom. The actual size is 100 quadrillionth of 2 meters. Doing this method I just described is more of a guessing game and it doesn't really give us anything for certain. So the next method I tried actually gave us the answer. I started with a new scene and then I lit the cube on fire and watched it burn up. From there I added a new cube and started the process of making it small. Right now we are working with a cube of 2x2x2 two by two by two meters. Now to make everything easier for us, let's scale this down by half so it's 1x1x1 one by one by one, and then we'll apply the scale so the scale and the dimension numbers are exactly the same. If I was to scale this down by 0 .000, a bunch of zeros, and then 1, it would just be set to 0 and it wouldn't work. We can't figure out the scale. So what we need to do is actually do this in increments. I scaled the cube down by 0 .0001, 4 zeros, and then I scaled it again by 3 zeros this time, 0001. Now if we click on the scale, we can see this equation. From here, we can add in our own exponent. We know negative 17 already works, so let's try negative 24. This number is called a yocto, and this is one septillionth of a meter. And as you can see, it worked, we have that equation in there. Next up was negative 35. This is an important length because currently this is the smallest length in the known universe. It's called the Planck length. To give you some perspective on how small this is, if you were to scale up the size of an atom to the size of the known universe, the Planck length would be about the size of a single tree on Earth. Now back to Blender, we can actually go even smaller than this. I set the exponent factor to 45, negative 45, and this is the smallest object in Blender. If you go any higher than negative 45, it'll break it and just be set back to zero. If we click on the scale, this is the number that it gives us. If we convert this to an actual number, this is what it looks like. This is 10 exponents smaller than the Planck length, and I don't even know how to compare how small that is. Now let's try scaling our cube back up to the original size to see what it looks like. I set the scale back up to 1 and here are the results. As you can see it looks a little bit weird and the shading is acting very strange. And also the grid floor is completely gone. So there you have it guys, that is the smallest object in Blender. 1.4013 times 10 to the negative 45. I can't tell you the name of this number because they don't even have a name for it. All you really need to know is that Blender can make an object pretty f***ing small. I guess the only thing smaller than this would be... <laughs> 